Hey kiddos, happy Friday. Um, you have been working on bubble letters and block letters for your name tags. And so we're gonna continue that theme and we're gonna do a marquee sign. And you're saying to what, yourself, what is a marquee sign? Okay, if you look in your Google Classroom, you should see a slideshow that has some examples of some marquees and it has some vocabulary words for you. So I'm gonna share some vocabulary words with you. Um, hopefully you can see this, it's a little small on the screen, but a marquee sign is commonly known as a structure placed over a hotel, a theater, a casino, a train station, or similar building. It has signage stating either the name of the establishment or in the case of theaters, the play or movie and the artists appearing at that venue. So if you look at that little si slideshow, you're gonna see some things from the Chicago Theater, you're gonna see some things from Las Vegas, you're gonna see a hotel sign that's a marquee. And so once you see it, I know that you'll know what that is. Um, next, the second vocabulary word is focal point. That is the main feature. Your drawing has a focus. It's the one thing that we want people to see the most of. We want to put our, have the eye, put our attention on that piece, and we want it to be the most interesting piece. So here's what we're going to do. In your Google Classroom, there is also a sheet like this which you can choose one of these marquee shapes to draw. I'm gonna have you draw this in your sketchbook so that when you get back to class next Friday, you're gonna be able to put it on a large piece of paper. So I'm gonna show you what this is gonna look like. Um, also in your slideshow is step-by-step -step instructions for this. So I'm pretty sure that you're not gonna have this big paper at home. That's why I want you to practice drawing and have an idea of what you wanna do when you get to class. So you're first gonna draw your marquee in pencil. And I kind of did this here, you can see it a little bit. I started it, I haven't finished it, but I'm gonna go through step by step with you what I want you to draw. I'm gonna draw in Sharpie so that you can see, and you're gonna draw in your sketchbook in pencil and make a plan for what you're gonna do when you get back to class. Okay, so here we go. Um, first of all is the marquee shape, and you can see that I chose this shape right here. On your marquee sign, you're also going to put um, bubble letters and you're going to put a positive saying in there like you might put be nice or be a friend or um, love wins or something to that effect some one of your favorite sayings something that you say to your friends um, don't bully okay whatever you like okay so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to start by drawing your marquee shape and i've um, drawn this in here but i'm going to just go over it in sharpie so you can see it and this is the biggest thing on my paper right now so this is the most important thing this is my focal point that's what i want people's eyes to go to and we're going to add some bling to this so it looks kind of fun and so just carefully sketch your marquee, whatever shape you choose. It doesn't matter what shape you choose. Um, you'll see in the slideshow also that you might want to um, add something to it. I think there's one that has maybe a horseshoe and one that has a star on it. You could add that to your marquee if you want to. Okay, so this is my main focus. Um, and I'm going to put some bubble letters in here or some block letters, whatever you like. And I'm going to choose the saying, be nice. So I'm going to put my B in here. You can make these super fancy if you want to, or you can just make them plain. And then I'm gonna put nice going down this way. So um, I'm gonna use a pencil really quick to quick draw my letters like we talked about before so I can make sure they all fit. Okay, and that's a little tight right there. So I'll just fix it up as I go. 
So I'm going to bring this up here like this a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to erase, of course, that those center lines and any of these lines that I'm not covering with Sharpie. But again, you're doing this in your sketchbook or if you don't have a sketchbook, doing it in a piece of paper, on a piece of paper so that you can bring it to class with you and use it um, for your sign. Okay, so you can see how that's pretty big and that's a focal point and we can put some um, bling bling around here to make this um, stand out. We could put some maybe some silver paint and use the back of our Use the back of our uh, brush to put some silver paint on here. We could put some sequins on here or some glitter to make this really stand out. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to add a background to this. And most of the time, the marquees are really um, show up at night because they're filled with lights and sparkles and things like that. So I'm going to make my um, sky will be a night sky. But here's what I'm going to do. I need to make some buildings in here behind here because generally a marquee is on a building. And so I'm going to, and you can use a ruler for this when you get to class, but just for your sketchbook, you don't have to. I'm putting my building behind my marquee, which means I'm not going over the top. I have this imaginary line that goes from here to here. Okay, and I'm just going to divide my building into floors because generally this is on a tall building. So this is way above the sky. So you can see my building ends here and I don't see the street or anything. I just have the building. So see my floors, one, two, three, four floors, and this is at the top of the building. And my sign is the biggest thing. That's what I want to focus on. And then I'm going to put a shorter building, maybe right here. Okay, and now we're going to just um, add some details to this building. We'll add some details to our sign later. We'll color this. Um, we'll color it with either watercolor paints or um, crayons or colored pencils, um, something that we have that we can use. And then we'll add some bling to it at the end. So I'm just going to show you like on this floor how to put in some details. You can put this in your sketchbook so that you can just know how you're going to draw this out on your piece of paper. But I'm just going to add some quick windows. And here's the deal. In a building, the windows are kind of on top of each other. So I don't know if you can see my little sketches here, but they're on top of each other. And I've given them a little bit of detail like this by doing this. So it looks like they're sort of inset a little bit. Um, you can do that. You could add curtains. You could do whatever. I put a little kind of zigzags in there so it looks like a glass window. And this is just something fun that you could do even sitting in front of the TV. Just kind of sketch this out. I just want you to know what you're going to do so that when you get your big paper, you can just go to it. All right. So I'm going to do um, brick on this building. And I'll probably do something else on this building. I'm not sure yet. But let me just do um, a couple rows of brick here for you. I'm just making some straight lines all the way across. Now, I'm not using a ruler right now because this is just kind of the sketch, right? Um, you're not going to use your Sharpie until you get it on your big paper. I'm just using Sharpie to show you um, an example. And so I'm just going to make some bricks here. And do you notice how this goes? They kind of go in between. They're not laying on top of each other. So make sure that um, these lines are not right on top of each other, that they're offset. It's called offset when you do that. So just make sure that your lines are offset with each other so it doesn't look like a building block like a Lego looks, right? So 
So I'm just going to get a little piece of scratch paper and show you what, what I'm talking about with a Lego look. So a Lego look would look like this. All right, if you have your square building and you made your lines, and it would look like this. Okay, this is not what we want for bricks. We want those bricks to be offset like this. Okay, do you see the difference between the two? Right there and right there. All right, so then you're just going to continue making a little sketch of what you want to do, and then we will color this and decorate this later. It's going to be a really fun project. Do not forget to put your name on the back of your paper, and I'm not going to do my name in Sharpie because I don't want it to show through the paper, but I'm going to put Mrs. Arns on here. And then put your class code. So if you're um, Mrs. Rusker's class, you're going to put uh, R-5. And if you are Mr. Goer's class, you're going to put G-4 okay, on your paper. But you don't have to do that in your sketchbook because you should have your name on there. But if you do it on a piece of paper, make sure that your name and your class code is on that separate piece of paper so that if it gets lost, I know where it goes. All right. Have a happy Friday and a good afternoon off. And I will see you next week. Um, I, it's such a bummer that I only got to see you once so far. But I will see you again next week. Have a good one.